All right, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Matt Cook. If you're finding me for the first time, I am a manifestation coach. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram and TikTok where I post daily videos. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to be talking about how meditation plays a fundamental role in the whole manifestation process. And what I want to do is share with you my exact practice and where to start if you're a beginner. Now, let's start with the basics of meditation and what it actually means. So the word meditate in Tibetan means to become familiar with self. So a lot of people say to me, Matt, I'm really struggling to understand why you're saying to visualize something in meditation. I've been told that meditation is the art of slowing down your mind and not actually thinking any thoughts. And that's where it's led to a lot of confusion because actually the purpose of manifestation is to consciously, with your consciousness, with your conscious intent, visualize a better life and feel those emotions because if you do that you are manipulating your energy field now before i dive in let's just have a quick recap on what i mean everything in our reality is energy that's vibrating at different frequencies so you could see that everything's dancing around and some energy is so condensed that we see it as physical things like my coffee right here and then we could say that there's other pieces of energy that is moving slightly faster therefore we can't see it so it's invisible to our five senses but just because we can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist so the wi-fi that's connecting you to this video or 4g is an invisible field of energy but it's still there it still exists right so you yourself is just energy that's condensed into a physical thing and your consciousness your thoughts and your feelings are also energy so simple quantum physics states that your consciousness is how energy merges from the quantum field and then turns to subatomic particles and then particles and then atoms and then all things physical in this world. So in a nutshell, what that basically means then is how you think is how you create your reality. So of course, what we want to be doing then is doing that consciously because so many people unconsciously create their life because they're unaware of the fact that they're in the present moment and they're unaware of how they're thinking and how they're feeling because you are wired that 95% of who you are is a set of hardwired programs, perceptions and beliefs based on your past. So, so many people continue to moan and complain that they keep creating the same life. So this is where meditation comes in. Meditation itself is the art of slowing down our brain being able to access our paradigms in our subconscious mind, and then as just awareness, being able to clearly visualize a future potential. And what we're doing is we're using our conscious intent to do that. So let's just break down consciousness just for a minute. Consciousness is awareness and being aware is being present and being present is paying attention. So what I want you to do is just an example right now. I'm just gonna go on to my timer on my phone. I want you to close your eyes in just a moment, just for 10 seconds. And what you're going to do is you're going to just close your eyes and just sit there in the darkness. Of course, if you're watching this as you're driving, then of course, don't do that. And I want you to just sit there and I want you to wait to see whether a thought comes into your mind. Just sit there for the full 10 seconds and then I will call you out and I'll tell you exactly what this exercise even means. So if you close your eyes right now, three, two, one, let's begin. So the question is then to you in those 10 seconds and you can open your eyes is did a thought come into your mind and if it did that's fine if it didn't that's also fine the point of that exercise is to show you that you the person who has just sat there in the darkness for however long whether it was for the full 10 seconds or just for a couple of seconds until a thought came in is your consciousness that's who you truly are that's your awareness now you're not your thoughts you're separate from your thoughts you're the awareness yet so many people don't realize that they think they are those their thoughts it's a little bit like saying to a fish do you know you're swimming in water the fish won't have a clue that it's in water water is its life so like most people they think their thoughts are their life so the process of meditation then is to simply become that awareness that person right there that was sat in the darkness and when you can slow down your brain 
and you become just purely aware in the present moment, you're then merging yourself back in with the quantum field, which is all around us at all times. And then if you clearly visualize a future, let's say it's being free, traveling the world, spending time with your family, having fun, whatever your best life looks like to you and while you're here watching this video. And at the same time, you feel the corresponding emotions, which might be peace, happiness, gratitude, for example, you're actually pulling that energy into your reality, which then crystallizes into all things physical in this reality. So if you don't do that, though, you'll continue to create a predictable life based on your unconscious thoughts and feelings, which are always happening in the present moment. So this is about becoming a master of your destiny. This is all about taking conscious control. And we use meditation as a tool to do that. Now, personally, for myself, I meditate for an hour every single morning. I appreciate not everyone's got an hour. People might have busy lives. But even if you just start with five minutes or 10 minutes, my advice is to start and build a consistent meditation practice. Now, personally, I follow Dr. Joe Dispenza. I haven't yet built my own meditation, but it is in the works and it is something that I'm planning to do in the near future. And I would recommend starting with his morning meditation, which is 24 minutes. It can be found here on YouTube. I'm going to put a link below in this video. And that meditation itself is going to guide you towards this process that I've explained and actually show you exactly how to visualize in that meditation. So Joe will actually say to you, now what is that potential that already exists in the quantum field? And the idea is, as just awareness, you will then clearly visualize. And if you do that every single day, you will start to see things changing in your life. But it doesn't just stop with meditation. You've then got to be consciously aware throughout the rest of your day how you're being. You can't just slip straight back into the program. You've got to be aware of whether thoughts and feelings come in and if they do come in are they aligned with the person that you're looking to be because you want to close the gap manifestation is all about becoming that person right now and then my advice is as you start to build consistency with let's say that 24 minute meditation head over to his website i'll put a link to joe's website below here as well and my advice is to check out some of his meditations personally i follow a meditation called tuning into new potentials it's about 52 minutes long and it's a longer version of that morning meditation that i've just recommended the whole goal with this though is that you just become familiar with your own self you become familiar with the practice of slowing down your mind and become familiar with taking control and clearly visualizing your future potential and if you do that over and over again you'll start to see massive changes in your life so i hope this video has helped if you've got any further questions, if you'd like me to cover any other topics or areas of manifestation, drop them below in the comments. But I thought I'd do a video on this just because it was in high demand. And with that said, I'll see you in another video soon.